Then we come to another organism that is Pseudomonas aeruginosa. Pseudomonas aeruginosa. So the risk of Pseudomonas, actually Pseudomonas mainly attacks your respiratory system. So, you know, it is also responsible for most of the LRTI cases. And uh, that is why, you know, if you are having LRTI, or you know, maybe if you are having hospital acquired pneumonia, and if you are having a risk factor for Pseudomonas, there are certain conditions. Like for example, if you are having diabetes, if you are having COPD, if you are having bronchiectasis, you know, or maybe some other kind of interstitial lung disease or structural lung disease or anything like that. So, Pseudomonas aeruginosa is actually a gram-negative organism. It has been seen that Pseudomonas, you know, shows a variety of resistant patterns. And uh, we have a lot of anti-pseudomonal medications like we have cefepime, we have piperacillin tazobactam which is anti-pseudomonal in nature. Pisarcillin is not that much used but that is also anti-pseudomonal. And obviously carbapenems are anti-pseudomonal but it also depends on the culture report. What I said you right now is theoretical but if the culture report says that piperacillin is resistant then you can't use it. So sometimes it has been seen that cefepime is sensitive so we can start with cefepime. It depends on the culture report analysis. Pseudomonas is a gram-negative organism.